Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities markets and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 21st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as expected, we have rallied a little bit in today's training session. But at the end of the session, uh, everything has basically turned around. Basically, when I'm uh, as, as I'm talking that here, everything is turning around in the market. The Nasdaq, which was deeply in red, has become uh, nearly green. And the US dollar index, which was appreciating, has basically uh, given most of those gains back. So at this point, we may see a similar rally next week um, in the US dollar index, but it won't hold. It will get close to the 20 exponential and then continue further down. If you look at technical indicators for the US dollar index, we are still oversold at this point. We're at 29. Technical indicators are otherwise turning around quite slowly. It's not an aggressive turnaround. So we'll just see similar to this a gradual uh, increase and then just plummet to the downside. I think that has been the uh, case for several weeks now. Actually, since the beginning of November, we have these rallies, breakdown, rally, breakdown, and so on and so on. And um, that seems um, very likely to just continue uh, on into the future. So let's look at oil. We can see that oil has had its best run since, well, a very, very, very long time ago. It hasn't been rallying like this since basically in September. This was back in, um, well, 2019, um, October 2019. So it's a long time ago since oil had a, a, a similar rally like this. But we are getting very overstretched at this point. We are significantly overbought. There is not the same demand for oil in the world economy as it was prior to coronavirus. So expect a lot of selling when you get to basically the 50 or probably it will overshoot to 51 and then it will head straight towards the 20 exponential. So there's going to be a bottom here roughly. Uh, in this area here, there's going to be quite a lot of support. So from 35 to 36, I expect this market to basically turn around again. So if you look at technical indicators for oil, we are significantly overbought. CCI is turning around, stochastic is turning around. The MACD is also looking like it's becoming more flat. We are getting really overstretched and therefore expect a pullback at any point at this stage. So let's look at natural gas. We can see that we are still here. We have been rallying today, but we are not able to break the 20 exponential moving average at this point. So it's just more of the same. We break down, rally towards the 20, break down again, rally towards 20, break down, and again, rally against 20. So there are there are two things that are going to happen. We can just continue this uh, this decline towards the 200 moving average, or this will rally significantly due to the snowstorm that is hitting the uh, northeast of the United States. And that usually has an enormous effect on the price of natural gas. So uh, we will see what basically happens. I am not going to enter this market until we get a clarification of a rally because of increased demand or whether or not we break down from here. And this should be enormous support down here. And a lot of buyers will come in and buy this to the upside. So let's look at copper. We can see that we have rallied yet again. Um, we are at 3.635. Uh, and uh, yes, we are also getting really, really overstretched in copper. We're at 76 at this point. 
Technical indicators are still very bullish at this date. It doesn't look like there's any signs of this um, going for a massive decline whatsoever. This has been an absolutely enormous run for copper. There have been several instances where you basically expected copper to basically be declining, but it has increased and increased and increased. And at this point, well, there's no indecitement really. Every single time we get close to the 20 exponential, this rallies. It is not a good idea to buy it here because we're significantly overbought, um, but pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that still works as buying opportunities. Um, and as long as that is the case, then that is the way to go. So let's look at gold. So we may see a continuation of the same thing that we've been seeing for a very long time. So we can just go back to August. We went to the all time highest here at uh, 2071, give or take. Broke down all the way down towards 1860, rallied, and then traded side phase for a very long time. And now we have done, and then we broke down again, traded sideways, broke down, and then we, now we have rallied just underneath the 200 moving average. And now we're trading just above the 50 moving average. But we've been here before. We tried to rally above the 50 and broke significantly down. And uh, I'm afraid that we're probably going to see the same thing happen again. So until further, my analysis still is holding. And that is that we have above here a significant resistant line that we most likely will not get through at this stage. And underneath, we have a significant support line, which we will not get through in this stage either. So we'll most likely just trade in between this resistant and support line for the foreseeable future until we get into this corner where we'll break out to the upside. I'm not favoring the downside because there is going to be a lot of um, spending from government, um, from government and also uh, central banks and that will be very bullish for gold and therefore in the long run it will go higher and not lower. If you look at technical indicators for, for gold, there are basically all over the place. RSI is becoming negative, the CCI is, is basically flat, and the stochastic and the, and the MACD are bullish at this point. But if we break below the 50 moving average, that only means that we are going back towards the 200 or the probably the very lows here at the 1822 and then just rally up again. And we'll just go sideways until we get into this corner. Otherwise, if we continue this rally here um, next week uh, and break above this uh, resistant line, that means that we're going to go significantly higher. So let's look at silver. So silver did break its resistant line a few days ago. We had a very similar case here where we broke above and now we are, we got fairly overstretched and now we turned around a little bit today. So at this point we are trading at 25.72. Technical indicators are mostly all of them turning around. CCI so is turning around, stochastic is turning around and so is the RSI, but the MACD is not. So a pullback towards this trend line here and if it's basically supportive that basically means that you can enter for a buy for the long run. Otherwise it will just continue going higher. I think that we'll find a lot of support here, roughly at the $25. Uh, that is probably going to be the floor in this market. So let's look at uh, platinum. You can see that we have been all over the place today. Uh, we fell all the way down to uh, 10, uh, 24 before uh, rallying again. And then now we're back down. At this point, I think that we're going all the way down to the 20, 20 exponential moving average. Um, these technical indicators are looking uh, more bearish um, for every minute. So that is very likely that we're going to test the 20 exponential. If this breaks, then we're heading all the way down towards this area here around uh, 960 and then the, 20, the 50 moving average. 
if we go towards the 20 and that seems to be supportive and we turn around there, then that is impossible to buy in with a stop loss run underneath and the target of these very of these highs. So let's look at Pallium. We can see that we have rallied to the upside, and this is what I was expecting. We were creating a triangle here, and we have technically broken out of this triangle. So yesterday, we basically got stuck right in this corner, and I said that we will most likely break to the upside or we'll break to the downside. We break, broke to the upside. We're trading above the... 50 moving average, which is a very good sign. And the uh, problem probably is, is that we gave most of these gains back. But we're still trading above the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are still turning around. So if we get uh, another candlestick above and can break these, pre these uh, highs of the day, then that's a very good sign that we are going to go uh, significantly higher in this market. So there is a barrier above. We have tried this several times before. It is right here. That is the resistant line that we have to get through in order to get to these, uh, these very highs. A break down from here will open the door to the very lows at 2.184. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to this full video. So uh, we have a video that includes all the um, commodities on eToro. So good luck and good weekend.